The secret sauce of tone, measuring DC resistance and inductance on electric guitar pickups. This video is a short primer on the subject of measuring and understanding DC resistance and inductance on a guitar pickup. Have you ever wondered what makes a Strat sound like a Strat? Or a Les Paul growl like a Les Paul? Beyond the wood, the strings, and the player, there's a small, unassuming component that's at the very heart of it all, the electric guitar pickup. But what makes one pickup sound different from another? Today, we're going to pull back the curtain and dive into the two most critical measurements you can make to understand a pickup's character, DC resistance and inductance. First, let's talk about DC resistance. I was trying to come up with a very simplified analogy that would explain the concept of DC resistance. So imagine an electrical wire as a highway for electricity. DC resistance is like the amount of traffic on that highway when cars, the electricity, are all going in one direction, DC current. The more the traffic, the less flow of DC current. DC resistance is the opposition a conductor, basically the wire or something in the circuit offers to the flow of a direct current DC. It's also known as ohmic resistance and is a static value that's measured in ohms on a multimeter. This is probably the most common measurement that you'll see in a pickup specifications from the manufacturer. It's measured in ohms and is a straightforward way to gauge the total length of the wire coil inside the pickup. Think of it this way, more wire means a higher DC resistance. A typical vintage style single coil pickup that you'd find at a Strat may be around 6,000 to 7,000 ohms, while a humbucker with two sets of coils could easily be 15,000 ohms or more. Measuring it is simple. We're using a multimeter set to measure resistance in ohms. We just connect the probes to the pickup's hot and ground leads. The number we get is a direct reflection of how many turns of wire are on the bobbin. So why does this matter for tone in your guitar? Generally, a higher DC resistance means a higher output voltage. This is because more turns of wire translate to a stronger signal being sent to your amplifier, but it also affects the resonant frequency or tone of the pickup. A higher DC resistance pickup will typically have a lower resonant peak, which often translates to a thicker, warmer, and sometimes less trebly sound. The resonant peak is the specific frequency at which the pickup produces its strongest output. A higher resonant peak means the pickup is most sensitive to and emphasizes higher frequencies. This translates to a brighter, more trebly, or clear tone. More windings increase the pickup's inductance and capacitance, which in turn lowers the resonant peak. This is why pickups with higher DC resistance, often called hot pickups, tend to have a warmer, less bright tone. Conversely, lower resistance pickups, which have fewer windings, typically have a higher resonant peak and a brighter, more articulate tone. But DC resistance only tells half the story. The other crucial measurement is inductance. And this is where things get a little more interesting. Inductance is not quite as easy as DC resistance to describe or explain, but I'll try. An electromagnet is a permanent magnet wrapped in a coil of very thin wire. An electric guitar pickup is an electromagnet. When you play a guitar string, the vibration of the string disrupts the magnetic field created by the permanent magnet in the pickup. The vibrating string creates a changing magnetic field. This changing magnetic field generates a small alternating electric current in the coil of wire. The small alternating current produced is called electromagnetic induction. In short, induction or inductance is the key electrical property of the pickup's coil that allows it to convert the mechanical energy of the vibrating string into the electrical signal that is then amplified and sent to your speaker. A pickup with higher inductance will generally produce a stronger signal, which will most likely result in a louder, fatter, and possibly darker tone. Conversely, a pickup with lower inductance will produce a weaker signal, often leading to a brighter and clearer tone. Inductance measured in Henry's tells us how much the pickup resists changes in current flow. It's a key factor in how the pickup interacts with the rest of your guitar's electronics. 
When I spoke of resonant frequency before, it's inductance that really defines the pickup's resonant frequency. That's the frequency at which the pickup produces a lot of signal, and it's what gives a pickup its unique voice. To measure inductance, you need a specialized LCR meter. We connect it just like we did with the multimeter. The readings we get give us a much more accurate picture of the pickup's actual tonal character. So what does the number in Henry's mean for your sound? A pickup with a higher inductance will typically have a lower resonant frequency, just like with higher DC resistance. It's a much more precise way of quantifying it. This is why a pickup's inductance value is often a better predictor of its sound than its DC resistance alone. Let's see this in action. A single coil with a lower inductance might have a very high resonant peak, which gives it that classic bright and cutting tone. A high output humbucker with a much higher inductance will have a lower, broader resonant peak, which results in a fatter, darker, and more powerful sound or tone. So the next time you're looking at pickup specs, don't just focus on DC resistance. While it's a good starting point, remembering that inductance is the real secret sauce, it's the number that truly defines the pickup's resonant frequency and ultimately its unique tonal signature. By understanding Understanding how to measure and interpret both DC resistance and inductance, you're not just buying a pickup, you're choosing a voice. You're becoming a tone scientist empowered to find the perfect sound for your music.